Hello friends, my name is Imanshu and uh, today I am going to tell you uh, a bit of about VBA that how it's going to benefit you. A single uh, line of code may help you in many ways. Uh, what I am going to do, uh, this is the file that is function data and you may see the extension here that is Excel XX. Okay, so I have opened it. Now this is a normal Excel file and here I am going to do some programming a single line of programming but then again uh, that is a macro so that has to be a macro enabled file if I'm going to save that macro in this particular uh, workbook so for that I will have to go to file save us I have to go to this particular option which is Excel macro enabled workbook I think it's visible to you okay and then click on save the location is desktop and I have clicked on save so now this is a macro enabled workbook the extension is going to be .xlsm and uh, now I can write some VP programming so what I'm going to write here that is going to be very beneficial and useful I'm going to write a function uh, where um, means I'm going to write a macro sorry where whenever you are going to close this particular Excel file it will be auto saved it will not ask you uh, for the like for the permission whether you want to save it or not or if you have not saved it it, it asks for a uh, there is a display alert which comes it will not come whenever you are going to close it it will save it automatically so how to do that for that I need to go to developer then go to visual basic I'm not going to create any module where I need to write a VBA uh, this is basically an event means on the basis of event I'm going to write a macro what is that event that event is look what is event first of all I'm telling you this event is anything like uh, if you have opened a workbook that is an event if you have made a changes in the workbook that's an event if you have uh, created a new sheet that's an event if you are closing the workbook that's again an event so the last one that is closing the workbook the event where I want to write this particular code so here this workbook I'm going to write a code in this particular section so double click on this workbook it will open the window where you can write a code where it is written general right now just go there select workbook by default it will give you the option to write a macro in an event which is workbook underscore open so that's an event of when you when you are open when you open this workbook so no I'm not going to write over here I will uh, there is a plenty of events option so I'm going to choose before close option and uh, this option I'm going to remove and this is the event where I'm going to write a very simple line of code and the code is that this workbook dot save means whenever this event will occur means closing of uh, this particular workbook my workbook will be automatically saved because then this particular line will execute and it will be saved automatically now it has we are not done with this uh, till now there is a drawback uh, so what is that I'm going, going to come I have done the saving and I'm going to close this particular option now in this text example sheet I'm going to write something and if I'm going to close it I have not done any sort of saving and if I'm going to close it it will give a message or a warning message about the macro that we have saved so this is something I don't want because if I get rid of one of the messages that whether you want to save it or not but this is again a message which is coming I don't want this also so how to take care of this I'm coming to this point okay I've clicked on okay and there is this file that is function data xlsm I'm going to open this once again and there you will find that it has been saved but how to get rid of that particular message which is coming so I will go to developer option I will go to visual basic once again and there is this code this workbook so I will type something big, uh, through this that particular uh, warning message will not come now whenever this warning messages are coming those are 
coming through an application actually so I'm calling that application dot display alerts because those are known as display alerts only equal to false what does this mean actually that any sort of display alert will not come once this line will execute but this is very important that again go to application dot display alerts and make it true otherwise uh, when something important thing is also where the display alert is being required that will not come so whenever you are going to use this false option use this true option as well okay we are done control s save it and uh, I've closed it again I'm writing something in this particular B column and fifth row that is write something two three anything okay I have not saved it and uh, I'm going to close it nothing has came right and I'm going to open it there we go if I'm going to write something again and I'm going to close it no message is coming but it is getting saved so this is how you can write a simple VBA code um, definitely those who are not aware of the programming and the macros uh, will not understand uh, much that much about that uh, programming part uh, but definitely you may follow my steps and uh, it may in, it, it will definitely work but if you want to know more about it just uh, subscribe to my channel I will uh, update and I will upload more videos um, thank you for watching have a nice time